Robin Stewart. I'm an adult on the autism spectrum. I'm a trainer working in education, healthcare and social care. I've also written a book, The Independent Woman's Handbook for Super Safe Living on the Autistic Spectrum and I've worked as a mentor with young people on the autism spectrum. And today I'm at the Hendon School. It's a mainstream secondary school in North London and they have within the school HARP, the Hendon Autism Resource Provision. Today we're going to be meeting young people on the autism spectrum and we're also going to be talking about sensory sensitivities. First of all, we wanted to find out what autism was from the perspective of the students at HARP. Some say it's a complex lifelong disability. Wikipedia said that it was a neurodevelopmental disorder. And other things say that autism are just a bunch of people who need real good help. So there's certain things that some children or adults with autism won't be able to do. Mm -hmm. And there's certain things that because of autism they'll be able to do better than others. Autism to me is something that makes me feel unique. It's something that I found to be an advantage in some situations. Autism means you're different but it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing because it's just, yeah, it's not bad to be different because everyone's different. I feel quite special to be autistic. The person can be intensely interested in a certain subject there's someone who's interested in molecular structure and there's another person who's interested in the railway. I think autism is a different way of looking at the world. It's this wonderful difference that we can celebrate with our kids. Seeing them all differently, possibly even being in a different world. People on the autism spectrum can experience the world differently and this can include their senses. Things like smell, taste, touch, sight, your sense of balance and also where your body parts are. We asked students at HARP to tell us about how they experience their senses. One student, Charlie, wasn't able to be on film because of the attention and the lights, so he's made a phone recording and this is what he had to say. When anyone else slightly touches me, I, I feel like I'm being tickled to death. So I thought it was the shower. Imagine the shower, instead of, instead of water, it's actually like mini like like needles. Yeah. Like showers, like brains and needles or something. Here are some students who were happy to be on camera talking about their sensory experiences. I get here so early, the cleaners have the hoovers and I hate the hoovers. I don't like the hoovers because um, when they get near you it's just a little bit scary because it's just coming at you and it's making a big noise. When the door is being slammed because it's just, oh it's, it's noisy, especially if it's a heavy door, I don't like it when the door slams. Paint, I hate, paint? Pe I hate touching paint. Okay, that's a great example. Do you know like those paint things where you stick your hands in the paint and then put it on the paper? I never wanted to do that. And I cried and cried and cried and I kept on running away from the teacher when they um, said um, I had to um, do it. I don't like the sound of the fire alarm because it makes me feel really scared. I don't like the sound of our school fire bell. When I was in year 7 and I heard the fire bell, it used to make me upset. When the bin lolly comes, it goes backwards. It makes a beep noise. I don't like beep noise. When I heard the old school bell, it used to make me feel anxious. Now, I never used to like the bell when I started, so I always had to come back to heart. 10 minutes before the bell went, so they've switched the bells off and they said, do you want to choose a new bell sound? So this man came in with a laptop and he has different bell sounds on it. And there was one with three, three blames. So I chose that to be the new school bell. The new school bell sounds different than the old school bell. I prefer coming to school with the new bell. Like, stay in all my lessons to the end now. I'm sensitive with everything, taste, uh, sound and feel. If yeah. there's a loud sound that I don't know is about to happen, it hurts. To a point where I get really scatty and I can just hear everything and feel everything and I know everything's going on. It's sort of overwhelming. Um, so for example, I was cooking the other week 
and I had to stop because I could feel the glass particles from the bowl in the stuff that I was kneading. So I literally had to stop because it hurt when I touched anything. For me, I know that I can be sensitive to certain sounds. So it could be loud noises, it could even be something which might seem a bit petty to other people, which I feel a little bit childish or a little bit maybe stupid that the fact that I might be sensitive to it, so it could even be something as petty as, I don't know, somebody bursting a balloon, that can even make me jump with them. Certain clothes, like, I can't touch with my hand. You can get those really wiry jumpers, like the sort of uh, metal cloth that you'd use, like really scratchy sort of jumpers, I can't touch them. And there's these sticky balls that you can roll on your clothes to take, like, uh, dog fur and whatever off. It peels part of my hand's skin off when I use it. Like, my skin will literally peel off if it if I touch the tape. Um, I find it hard to wear socks and shoes. It just feels a bit painful sometimes, um, and I don't like to walk too much in shoes. My hands are in water for too long, start peeling as well. I have to wait a little while to eat my food, because sometimes um, people eat too hot food and they have like a burn in their mouth for like, what, a minute or so? I'll have that for days. It will just hurt. I don't like using pen because when um, I draw it on paper, it makes my nails all funny. It makes them itch. There's a certain sour candy you can buy that I used to like when I was younger from old fashioned shops. And I had one and it burnt the entire roof of my mouth off for a good few weeks. I couldn't really eat much. I can be sensitive to certain lights, uh, especially lights which might be shining directly at me, or directly at my eye. Well, I don't really like it when the corridor's busy. Do you know um, smoke from a fireplace that comes at, at you like a barbecue or something? I hate them. I hate the smell of it. I don't like touching anything that's old or rotten. I find very high-pitched sounds very difficult to cope with. The sound that you make of a guillotine when you're trying to cut paper, or when a bus is like stopping at a station and makes that high noise. It's almost as if someone is sticking pins in my brain whenever I hear that. Because most people find it unbothering, but I find it extremely painful whenever I hear those. Something I don't like seeing is anything that doesn't have much colour, or is broken, ripped, or neglected. When I smell the Bunsen burner, it makes me feel uncomfortable. The grass smells nice. I like to touch anything smooth. Well, there's a Wii here and their controllers. Their plastics are really smooth. And their analog stick is plastic and it just feels nice. I like bright colours like yellow, um, orange, stuff like red and that. I love things that are either chrome or very shiny for some reason. The a metallic look of some objects this seems very calm to me. Some of our students can be very sensitive to a range of different things and um, you know they they are so different you know from individual to another. You know people wear perfume and there's food cooking all the time and you know there are a lot of olfactory demands I suppose on them and then most of the school there are big displays up and very demanding I think in a visual way as well, so overstimulating probably for many. There are things that can help people on the autism spectrum, things that help. Good. Just to squeeze yourself in when you're stressed, for example, is, um, you um, release all your anger on it, like squeezing it, something like that, yeah. I use fidgets because I, I get distracted by the Lego in Lego Club and also I get stressed in lessons so I get the squeeze ball out and then I get to get my squeeze the stress out of my hands. I like touching the pillows while we have them up because they're nice and soft and it just it's relaxing and comfortable. I like to stroke the guinea pigs that we have because I like animals and they're soft. I like stroking the guinea pigs. I like ice because it cools me down Whenever I feel stressed or if I want to feel relaxed, I typically listen to classical music because I like the instruments they use in those pieces, mainly piano and the violin. I like touching fabric. It makes me feel less stressed because when you touch it, it feels like you're more um, focusing on what you're touching than 
what you what you're doing that moment. One of the ways I've been able to overcome the high pitch sounds that guinea teeth makes is by wearing headphones, which my teacher gave to me, which helps block out the sound of the baby voice. Time is you just turn it over and all the sound will start coming down. Now when what else is it coming from? Well this one is three minutes. Yeah. The waterfall tree down there. That's that's um calming when you watch the um, waterfall. I think the demands are enormous and they just benefit so much from having a place to come back to and be able to relax and and just be themselves for a while. Well, it's the end of a long day here at the Hendon School and overall what I've learned is that it's so important to learn about individual people because everybody is different. We met some students who liked one sound and another student who hated the same sound so everybody is different and as many people say about autism when you've met one person on the autism spectrum you've met one person on the autism spectrum. Everybody is different. That's all from us at the Hendon School. Thank you. Bye-bye.